today uh, at uh, Four Corners uh, Brewing Company in Dallas, and I'm here with George. George, hi. Hi, welcome. Um, Four Corners Brewing Company, we've been uh, open since about October, November, we really started pushing our kegs out of, uh, out of this facility. We are a commercial brewery and uh, happy to be part of the emerging Dallas, uh, you know, local craft brew scene. What went through your head when you decided to open a brewery? Yeah, it's like one of these, uh, you know, hobbies gone awry. Personally, I was a home brewer. Another partner of mine, we were home brewers. I actually met uh, our third partner through home brewing and uh, decided that, you know, you know, Dallas really needed, you know, a local brewery. We were, we'd go to, you know, business trips or just on vacation trips uh, to different uh, cities and, and come back and wonder why we didn't have a, you know, a, a thriving brew scene like other, other cities do. Well, yeah, we pushed out our first kegs out at uh, Blues, Bandits, and Barbecue over in Oak Cliff. It's a great event. Uh, blew out a bunch of kegs of, uh, of Local Buzz. It's one of our flagship beers. And uh, ever since then, we've been, we've been uh, increasing distribution here in the Dallas Metroplex. So tell us about uh, the Buzz, because that's actually one of my favorites that you brew. So tell me about that. That's yeah, it's, it's a great beer. It's, um, it's, we call it the Local Buzz. We use about 150 pounds of locally sourced um, honey, which gives it kind of the local and the buzz. And it's just kind of a cool name. But it's a, it's a really it's a great session beer. We call them all-day ales. That's part of our concept here at, at uh, Four Corners Brewing is this all-day ales concept is really trying to maximize as much flavor as we can with a really, you know, uh, tolerable ABV. <laughs> so no nine points somethings here, right? Yeah, I think we'll do some of those things on a seasonal basis, but as a, as a yearly offering, we're really trying to hover around kind of four and a half to five, five and a half percent, um, just because it's just so hot in Texas. I mean, you know, that we have these long, hot summers, long days, and for us, you know, the beers we like to drink are, you know, really refreshing, sessionable, you know, this came, comes with the all day ales idea. So tell me about this location. It's a little different to be in West Dallas, right? Yeah. Why, why this location? <clears throat> well, uh, a couple of reasons. One, um, you know, it's a thriving neighborhood. It's uh, emerging. It's been a neglected part of the city. We, as we put our capital together, we realized we could have been anywhere. We could have been, you know, uh, we had a lot of choices. We knew we wanted to be in proximity to downtown to service, you know, our our clients and that sort of thing. But it, we really wanted to to represent the city and and be within the city limits. So there's a lot of um, hoops that we jump through to to make that happen. Um, West Dallas, I, I grew up here. I actually grew just grew up a couple of miles uh, west of here, over in the Leadbetter neighborhood. We're here in La Bajada neighborhood. Has a lot of long, rich history um, that's meaningful to Dallas. It's just kind of this hidden place and and uh, really neg neglected place that that uh, that Dallas hasn't paid a lot of attention to recently. So we're happy to be a part of the uh, catalyst for for change here in this neighborhood. This specific space um, in and around this area is a lot of you know commercial and industrial um, buildings. This was a converted big rig shop, so we've taken um, you know a space that was once used for you know, chemicals and, and diesel fuels and that sort of thing and really converted into a green space, as green as you can be right now, but um, you know, uh, just uh, cleaning up the space and, and using the existing infrastructure for, for a change. I've also noticed that you have some incredible artwork. Your labels are, are just something else. Where did the inspiration come from? The inspiration comes from, it really comes from the neighborhood. Um, this, is, you know, this is an area that's, you know, heavily you know populated by kind of this you know mexican american hispanic heritage and um so a lot of our artwork speaks to that through uh this you know uh it's mexican bingo it's called loteria and it always has this uh you know look this kind of just stylized look to it and what we try to do is represent the things that we see naturally around this neighborhood we have you know guys with little selling paletas every day we have trucks and uh you know tire shops so Red's Roja is kind of like, yeah, we have tire shops around, around West Dallas and Oak Cliff. So yeah, so there's Red's Roja. Uh, local Buzz, um, it's kind of a nod to the community gardens that are in this area. Um, and then we have the Paletero Pale Ale, which actually has pale in the name, Paletero. So yeah, it's, uh, we thought it was kind of funny. Who designed this stuff? Um, collaborate with a, a fantastic designer here in town. Her name is Christy Brinkman. And Christie's helped us with uh, developing our logo, logo design, and then all of the uh, artwork that you see around, you know, in and around the, the brewery or tap markers and that sort of thing. 
So how many total beers that you have now? We have five that are year-round beers. So we have uh, a Porter, American Red, um, uh, Golden Ale, which is local buzz. Uh, we have a, a Brown Ale, an English Brown with Lava Hada, which is a nod to the neighborhood that's right behind us, and, um, and the Pale Ale as well. But we'll do some things that are seasonal. In fact, we have something new that will be launching in about a week and a half. Care to share? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Super Bee, and it's going to be a Saison. Uh, it's kind of a lift uh, from the uh, local buzz, but we've you know, used some different um, uh, yeast strains and, um, and it has a really unique uh, taste profile, but it's, it's a Saison. Okay. So uh, right now you're in keg. Um, are you going into bottle soon? We are, we are looking to expand in a couple of different ways. One, just bringing in more brewing equipment, uh, fermentation and right tanks. And those should be coming along here in the next uh, couple months. And then we're uh, strongly considering a, a packaging line, likely more cans. You know, it's, it's North Texas, so people hang around the pool or the lake, and, and uh, it tends to go, go hand in hand with uh, that those types of activities. Well, canning technology has come a long way, so, you know, the, you know, the old can taste um, is pretty indetectable now. It's better for beer. There's, there are, um, you know, you don't get light degradation from cans. It's a proven format within craft beer, so yeah, there's, there's, I think the, uh, the testing of the waters is, is, is proven already. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Now, um, tell me how much you're actually, how, how much volume are you putting through here right now? Um, right now, with, at capacity, we're gonna, we're, we'll hit our capacity with the existing equipment. We'll probably push out about 2,000 barrels this year, uh, which isn't bad for a, for a first year start. Uh, with more equipment, we'll be able to you know, escalate from there. So we're looking now at, at expanding our, our production already. But if we stay on target, we'll be pushing out about you know, 2,000 barrels or so. And so if somebody wanted to um, taste your beautiful crafts, where in the area can they find you on tap? Um, they can find us as far west as Fort Worth. Uh, they can find us as far north as Denton. Uh, in and around Dallas, we're kind of all over the Metroplex. Um, you can uh, send us a note at fcbrewing.com and uh, look us up on, on our website and also on Facebook. We have a lot, of, we're, we're really lively on Facebook, have a lot of news pushed out on Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag fcbrewing would, <laughs> would get you there. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Now you have quite a, quite a space here. Tell me what goes on. Uh, socially here where they can come on down and try your brews? Well, day in, day out, we're a commercial brewery, so we're brewing, packaging, and shipping out on a daily basis, but we do have 10,000 square feet of space, and what that allows us to do is to bring in um, events, and, and we've had everything from, you know, 50 person, you know, birthday party to a 400, you know, uh, person event um, with some really great, yeah, uh, really great partners that, that organize some great parties here. So tell us about the tours that you've got uh, here. Okay, every other Thursday we have a, uh, we call them the small tours. Um, they're max 30 people. Uh, what we have are, are parties at mid-month, and it's really hard to tour people around it uh, with, you know, 300, 400 people. So what we do is limit them to 30 people. We have them at 4, 6, and 8 p.m. Uh, the next one's coming up on Thursday the 25th, and then the following one will be on the uh, 9th of May. And uh, you can find uh, tickets in advance at, on Eventbrite or find us on Facebook. But uh, it's a great, it's a 90 minute tour. Um, get a glass to keep, three, you know, three pours of beer. And we really get deep into, uh, into uh, beer talk of any sort. And, and uh, we welcome you to come on over. Excellent, excellent. Now I've got one more question for sure. you. Tell us about this rope swing that's right behind us. Oh yeah, that's our Reds Roja uh, rope swing. And uh, you're welcome to swing on that, and, and uh, we'll pour you a beer and you can relax for a bit. I welcome everybody to come down to Four Corners Brewing Company. Um, come down, check the space out. We'd love to have you here.